The cast of Fox and Friends are going to discuss a recent fast food worker protest. And what those protesters were doing is they were fighting for a living wage. Seems very reasonable in my opinion. But Fox and Friends, they decided they're going to mock these poor people. And they're going to mock the idea that a living wage is a good thing. And that a living wage can be tied to the 1960s civil rights movement. And who do they bring on to talk about this issue? A black guy. It's Fox News 101. You want to slam uh, either black people, bring on a black person. Slam a woman or women, bring on a woman. Uh, and what they do is they'll bring on a black guy here to say, oh my God, it's outrageous to compare a living wage to the civil rights movement. It's Charles Payne from Fox Business Network. Guys, take it away. Fast food workers from across the country gathered in Villa Park, Illinois. Yep, uh, while there, the group voted to use nonviolent civil disobedience in order to get two demands. First, $15 an hour pay and the right to unionize. They are comparing these efforts to the civil rights movement. Here to tell us more, Charles Payne from the Fox Business Network. To compare it to the civil rights movement seems insulting. It really is insulting. It, it's, it's beyond the pale. And, and it, it, it's one of these things that insults almost everybody. I mean, obviously it would insult anyone who was involved in, in the civil rights movement. It, whatever happened to the country that talked about the maximum, <laughs> you know, like sky's the limit. We are quibbling over things where it, it's just really about creating divisiveness. It's not, it's not an economic solution to anything. And by the way, it still would be the minimum wage. And I think people out there want to think about maximum, right. how they can't maximize their lives. Uh, you're talking about doubling the salary for the lowest skill sets out there. You're talking about really encouraging people or enabling people not to embetter themselves. Hey, why should I sure. go to college at night if I'm going to get a raise from 7 to $15? If this becomes a civil rights issue and I can always go and demand more, what we're really talking about, guys, and I say this all the time, we are, there are people in this country who are trying to create a utopian welfare society. It's very expensive, and they've got to attack corporate balance sheets to make it work. Well Ah, that's what it's about at the end there. Did you catch that? Oh, these guys, they're attacking corporate balance sheets. Oh, it's so bad. We need more money for the CEOs. We need more money for the owners. They need another yacht. They need another Maserati, another Lamborghini. They need a third vacation house in the Hamptons. Guys, the CFO only made $3 million last year. For fuck's sake, we got to keep the wages of the workers low to give him more money. I love when they accidentally admit what this is actually about. And it's hilarious to me when people attack the idea of a utopia. Look, we all understand at this point, or most people understand, of course a utopia, a perfect society, is not possible. However, as I've always said, I don't believe in a utopia, but I believe in close to a utopia. I think we could get pretty fucking close to a utopia and have a society that makes sense, that's built on compassion and reason and rationality and all the proper principles and virtues that, uh, you know, we oftentimes see reflected in certain countries like Norway and Denmark and Iceland and Sweden, right? We can come very close to a society where people across the board are pretty happy. But he's mocking the idea. Nah, give these poor workers that can't live more money. <laughs> Gross, that's so stupid. <laughs> and then also, I mean, how stupid is Fox? How stupid are they? Oh, no, the civil rights movement. This is very disrespectful to anybody in the civil rights movement. They would be so angry. Quote, the march on Washington in the 60s, the height of the civil rights movement, had 10 concrete demands, one of which was a, quote, National Minimum Wage Act that will give all Americans a decent standard of living. They also pointed out that research showed at the time that anything less than $2 an hour fails to do this. A $2 minimum wage uh, at the time they did the march would be equal to $15.27 an hour in today's dollars. So you know what, guys? Fox, you're right. You're right. People in the civil rights movement would be outraged at this new round of protests where people are asking for a living wage of $15 an hour, but they would be outraged because they think they should be asking for $15.27. They're not asking for enough. The idea that the civil rights movement, that they weren't involved with the workers' rights movement and they weren't involved with getting people a living wage... That's the most ridiculous historical revisionism I've ever heard. Because even without looking up the specific numbers, I knew that the civil rights movement, they also fought 
for a living wage. I mean, for fuck's sake, when Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was shot and killed, he was at a union event protesting for workers' rights. They don't know anything about history on Fox News, especially Fox and Friends. They know nothing! And they arrogantly go out there like, ah, oh, yeah, everybody in the civil rights movement would hate this. They're turning over in their graves looking at people, continuing their legacy and fighting for the exact same things they were fighting for. It's unbelievable, man. And the final thing I'll say, fucking Charles Payne, insufferable stupidity. You know, everybody's out there talking about the minimum. I want to talk about the maximum. How many fucking people on the planet are going to make a maximum wage? How many people are going to... There's one person in the world that's the richest person. And forever there's going to be one person that's the richest person. What are you talking about a maximum? People don't want $84 billion. They don't want $1 billion, okay? What they want is a middle class lifestyle. They think, hey, if I get lucky, maybe an upper, upper middle class lifestyle. If I get really lucky, maybe I'm rich. Maybe I pull in a mill, right? Nobody wants your goofy little... And he says... Uh, that he thinks, oh, these liberals, uh, they're trying to fight for a utopia in a negative way, he says it, right? You're the one that wants the unattainable situation. You're, well, everybody should make the maximum. Let's talk about the maximum. And we're the ones that, you know, fucking uh, head in the sky, you know, crazy dreamer liberals. You're the dreamer. Let's make the maximum. Fuck are you talking about? Here's an idea. Let's uh, take baby steps. How about we simply set up a system where if you work a full-time job, you can survive. Over 10 million people in the United States of America right now work a full-time job and they don't survive. It's a whole class. It's called the working poor class. The idea that there's any opposition to that is fucking bananas. It's insane. It's insane to me. It's so beyond pathetic and stupid. The idea that anybody could disagree. No, I am in favor of people working a full-time job and not being able to pay all the bills. That's what I'm in favor of. Okay, well then you're a fucking moron and nobody should engage in a conversation with you. Nobody should talk to you because that's basically like arguing for indentured servitude as if that's a legitimate position. If somebody brought up, le uh, what's it called? Indentured servitude today? I'm getting all fucking wound up. I can't even think straight. Uh, if somebody called for that today, what would we do? we say, who are you? What are you doing? Nobody takes you seriously. Go sit outside. Go sit outside. Just go sit outside. You're not allowed at the big boys table, okay? But when these jackasses argue, no, we think it's a good thing when people work full time and they can't survive. The fact that anybody can listen to that and goes and go, mm, that seems reasonable. It's gross and it, it, it shows that our collective IQ is way below what it should be. And all people who are rational, who are reasonable, who use logic, we all need to stand up and say, no, no. And we're going to fight until we get a living wage as the minimum wage. And if you don't agree with us, step aside.